Hello, today we're going to talk about uh, four mallet grip on the vibraphone or marimba. And uh, I use the Burton grip. I play, I teach the Burton grip named after Gary Burton, the great vibraphonist. Many vibists use it, of course, these days, as do uh, concert marimba players and orchestral players. And so the first thing I'll point out is that we're going to number the mallets. This is number one, two, three, Four. So I'll refer to them that way throughout this uh, little presentation. And we're going to start off with just how you hold the sticks. Uh, and the, uh, they're basically held the same way. They're not played the same way, so there's a difference. So let's look at how they're held. Uh, and this stick number one and stick number four, the outside sticks, are the ones that are uh, placed on top. Uh, closer to the palm of your hand when you're actually gripping the sticks. So I'm going to take in my right hand this stick number one, the outside mallet, put it between my index finger and my middle finger, and I'm going to take my second mallet, put it across at the base of the fingers, curl the fingers under, put the thumb on top, don't squeeze too hard but hold the stick fairly firmly, and that's the grip. That's it. Held at a 90 degree angle. That's going to change uh, a little and I'll get to that shortly. But the left hand is exactly the same. You take uh, mallet number four in this case, the outside mallet. It goes between the index and third finger. Your mallet number three goes across the bottom, fingers curl under, thumb on top, and there you have your left hand grip. Okay, so they are just mirror images of each other. Now the next thing you have to look at, of course, is, is is, uh, well, the fact that you're not going to be holding them at 90 degrees all the time. You're going to have to open and close the mallets uh, in order to play different intervals on the instrument. So what you want to do is, and we'll start with the right hand, same in the left hand, but uh, start with our right hand in the 90 degree position. And when you're closing it, when you want to get smaller intervals, you're going to press down with your fourth and fifth finger. And as you do that, of course, it gets smaller. Uh, space there and your middle finger is going to want to move out, it lifts up as your thumb helps push those two mallets into place. For the smallest intervals, uh, certainly your thumb is going to be at the side, keeping it fairly, well, quite close together so you can get a second or a minor second. As you open them again, your index finger is going to go in between the two mallets, push down as your fourth and fifth finger pull up, your thumb kind of slides in again and now it's brought back to its 90 degree uh, spread. Okay, So this is how it looks as I do it a little more smoothly, pushing down with the index finger, pulling up with, three and f uh, with fingers 4 and 5, and the reverse. Okay? And the left hand is the same. Okay? Now what I suggest you do is not worry about playing this on the instrument yet. You can get to that later, but first just get used to this, the feel of holding the, the mallets like this and uh, doing this exercise away from the instrument. You can be sitting on a sofa, you can be at your desk, uh, whatever you're doing, and just take a couple of days and, and walk around and do this and get your hands used to that kind of motion. Now the next thing we have to look at is actually playing notes on the instrument. Now we're going to look at single notes right now and with the Burton grip when you play single notes you're going to use mallet number one and mallet number three. So it'll look like like this if you're playing a C scale. Okay. Now with both hands the stick that's not playing is your pivot point. It's an axis. It's, you don't want to be moving both mallets up and down like this. You want to have the mallet that's playing the note moving up and down as smoothly as possible with the other mallet using as an axis. Uh, so this is it. Um, I often get my students to, you know, in place here and I put my hand here so that they see it's just moving like this. The stick just turns as the first mallet, in this case in the right hand, moves up and down. Notice I pull it back up after it hits the note, so you get a really nice sound out of the instrument. But this is it. And you take it away, and that's, that's the motion, not this. Okay. 
your left hand is a little bit more problematical. So let's take a look at that. With the left hand, we have our fourth mallet as the access mallet. And your third mallet is the uh, one that moves, moves uh, up and down. So I'm going to show you what I would do here. I would put it like this for my students. And as you can see, this mallet's going to go smoothly up and down without lifting the fourth mallet. Now when you look at it on the keyboard, it kind of looks like the fourth mallet is off on about uh, maybe an 85 degree angle, 60 degree angle, I can't gauge it exactly, but it's going off in that direction. The third mallet's at about a 35 degree angle here, not like this so much, it's, it's just going uh, off, off in that direction a little bit. And as it moves up and down, you see this does not move. Now, how do you get that motion smoothly? What I suggest my students try, I suggest you try, is that with uh, fingers three, four, and five, you hold the, the mallet, you get, number, you get your fingers uh, out of the way, the other fingers, your thumb and your index finger out of the way, and you just try and flip the mallet up keeping mallet number four turning and you flip it up and see if you can get it to fall as straight and smoothly as possible and if you can do that that's pretty much the feel you want you want this big ball to be thrown up and come straight down okay now if you've got that then you put your thumb and your index finger around the stick and you try and keep that same motion and do it a few more times. And that is the motion. It takes a little, a little practice, this one, okay, to get comfortable with. But that's it. And then when you do get, uh, want to start playing on the instrument, I suggest you just play a few notes with each hand as a warm-up. So you might want to play single notes, then go up. that as smoothly as possible, relax as possible, same thing with your left hand. Okay, and then when you want to uh, play with both mallets, just play on the one note. So you'll play single strokes on a single bar. The second and fourth mallets aren't moving around a lot, keeping very, very, uh, paying a lot of attention to them, and then just try very slowly a scale. Trying to keep everything as smooth and comfortable as possible. Take your time, uh, go slowly, and I hope this all helps.